This video tutorial shows you how to create a product from the photo gift category. The example product we will create is a fine style mug with a full wrap image. Once you've logged into the member area of the website and launched the online software, you will arrive at the main menu of the online software. This tutorial assumes that you've already uploaded images into your online software account. To get started, click on Photo GIF. This screen illustrates the huge range of photo GIFs available for you to personalise with your own images. To start creating your photo GIF, click Create Now. Any saved projects from previous sessions will be listed here. Click Create More to proceed. Select your gift type by scrolling to your desired choice. We will be creating a fine style mug with a full wrap image as our photo gift. You can double click on your preference or click the next button to proceed. The fine style mug with a full wrap image is located within White Mug. Click next to proceed. Select Fine Style Mug with a full wrap from the White Mug menu. Click next to proceed. As you move throughout the software, you will notice information boxes pop up to provide you with helpful hints and tips. Select the album containing the images you would like to use in your photo gift, then click OK. Images from your album will appear in the Loaded Pictures window. You need to move images from the Loaded Pictures window up top into the Selected Pictures window down below. To complete this process, you can choose individual images by clicking each image one at a time, then clicking on Select. Or if you wish to use images from the entire album in the Photo Gift section, click the Select All button. The images appearing in the Selected Pictures window down below can now be used within the Photo Gift Ordering section. After confirming your selected pictures, you can add images from additional albums by clicking on the Select Album button. You may select from as many albums as you like for your photo gift. When you finish selecting, click Next to proceed. You are prompted to auto-save your photo gift immediately. We recommend agreeing to auto-save as you go. Your photo gift is now saved and will auto-save throughout the project. To start designing, simply drag one of your images from the content panel to the designated placeholder area on your photo gift. You will be prompted to select either single image or collage image. Single image whereby your picture will fill the entire placeholder area or collage whereby you can add multiple images to the placeholder area. We are using the collage option whereby Im multiple images can be added to the placeholder and all images can be manipulated via the position, zoom and rotate controllers. We'll position the logo into the top left corner of the placeholder and size this image to approximately a third of the placeholder size. Now we'll position the hero shot to the right. Simply anchor the bottom left corner and drag the top right corner to increase the border size and fill the entire right region of the placeholder.
Then we'll position the close-up image into the bottom left. Now make small adjustments to the placeholder format using the zoom controller to create the desired full wrap image. The rotate controller can also be used to create a unique effect. We will not need it for this mug. To add text to your photo gift, click the text button in the tools panel. A text box will appear within the placeholder area and text options will be activated. Click the white area containing the words Add Text to type your desired message. You can change the font and you can change the colour of the font. Simply click and drag your text into position. You can personalise your photo gift further by adding small decorative graphics found in the Embellishments tab. Borders or backgrounds can also be used. As you scroll over any border, embellishment or background, a preview screen will enlarge the feature for easy recognition, just the same as it does for your pictures. You can edit each image by cropping or applying special effects. To complete this, select an image, then click the Edit button. The available enhancements include Crop, Black and White, Sepia, Brightness and Contrast. And there's also a Reset button to remove any changes. To save any changes, click on Save and you'll be taken back to the working area. Preview the final design and check for any mistakes like typos or images not filling the placeholder area. Click Next to confirm your order. A mandatory checkbox requires you to confirm that you have reviewed your order and asks you to confirm that it is correct. Please check your order carefully as once it is submitted for production, no changes, no alterations or cancellations can be made. Tick the box and click Proceed to select Quantity. The Select Quantity screen allows you to order multiples of your photo gift and save money when buying increased volume. For example, an order of 101 or more of this photo gift will save 40% off the standard price. The item total here at the bottom of the screen shows the total price for 101 fine style mugs with a full wrap image. When you are happy with your photo gift, click next to go to the items in cart screen. The Items in Cart screen allows you to review the details of individual orders in the current category. If you have more than three jobs, click the arrow buttons at the bottom of the window to page through all jobs. Click Edit Name to save project. To adjust the number of copies of a photo gift, click the plus or minus button to increase or decrease the quantity. Click New Item at the bottom of the window to begin creating an entirely new photo gift. Click Shopping Cart to continue the order process. The Shopping Cart allows you to review or change any information relating to your orders. When you are finished reviewing your shopping cart, click Checkout to proceed with your order 
or click Continue Shopping to return to the main menu. That completes this tutorial on creating a photo gift. To see the checkout and order payment process tutorial, please go to the other tutorials listed on the website.